One of the hardest things to have is a traumatic event that happens and then have to be faced with the determination of whether or not you should apply for disability benefits. Let's pause and think about this for a second. You're in an auto accident. Your auto accident has caused you to break your arm, break your leg, you're in an immense amount of pain. You're thinking to yourself automatically, this is not going to beat me. I'll be back on my feet in no time soon. Well, guess what ends up happening? A month and you know, you're in the hospital for a week, you get a staph infection, something else happens and a week turns into a month and a half. After a month and a half, you go into rehab. Rehab, which was initially planned for a month and a half, turns into three months. You leave that thing and you can go home, you're having a lot of problems, they put you in assisted nervous nursing facility so they can keep an eye on you. We're now up to six months. Now, after six months, you go home, they have you prescribed on Oxycontin, Percocet, you're on so much pain medication that you can't even function during the day, even though you're doing outpatient rehab. You want to be phased off the medication, but it's now been about nine months, and they try to put you on something a little bit less, like some Tylenol, some Flexeril, and even that is not helping you. You're Now you're at about 10 months. They're putting you back on the oxycodone. They're trying nerve injection blocks, you know, epidural steroid injections, nerve blocks. They've decided to extend you for an additional couple of months for rehab. Now you're at a year, you're at a year and a couple of months. Guess what? You're now saying to yourself, "I probably should have applied for disability benefits." The problem with traumatic events is that most people look at the traumatic event in the context of that particular situation. Ideally, you would like to have someone who could tell you how long that's going to keep you out of the ability to work. But sometimes you just can't get that answer. You just don't know. So. I've had a few, I've represented quite a few people who've been injured in car accidents and, and slip and falls and stuff like that. And I typically tell them this because I've had them tell me, well, I want to wait and see how long. And I tell them, you can wait, but I need you to understand something. That process is not going to go any faster because you decided to wait. So here's what I tell you to do. You have a right to apply. Apply. The worst that could happen is that you get denied. Or, more importantly, your condition improves, you go back out into the workforce, you drop the application. But I don't want you to be a year and a half from now and then decide to apply. And then have to wait another year and a half to get a decision when you could have just done so right out of the gate. Now, it's great because a lot of hospitals have social workers and stuff like that who will come in and help you file that initial application and so forth. But if you have a traumatic event, and more importantly for those of you who have loved ones in your lives who have gone to a traumatic event, you need to give a serious thought to whether applying for Social Security is a viable option at this time. It's not going to hurt you to apply. Not at all. And more importantly, it's more important that you're in the system while you're going through this now. All the medical records and everything is fresh because guess what? You would much rather than make a determination while you're going through this and waiting for everything to unfold than you to decide to wait later. Because remember, the regulation says a definition of disability is something that keeps you out of work for 12 months or can reasonably be expected to keep you out of work for 12 months. In other words, if there's a pretty good reason, if there's a pretty good likelihood that it can be expected that you're going to be out, that's just as much as well as you being out. Don't wait. If you've had a dramatic event, just go ahead and apply. Get into the system. It's better to go sooner than to wait later.